My name is Andres Kalnac. I came here from Riga, Latvia, and today I will talk about Grafana usage in quality assurance process. Um, I have been working in quality assurance in different roles for about 10 years. Uh, and last year I started to talk at some testing events, and also I'm trying to organize local uh, testing automation community events. <clears throat> Right now, I'm working as lead software developer in test at Evolution Gaming, which is a world leader in live dealer gaming. We have 10 offices around the world, and we have three development locations in Riga, in Tallinn, and also here in <coughs> Amsterdam. And we have about 350 engineers working in total. Uh, I can Today I will talk about three main use cases of Grafana in quality assurance. So first one is putting uh, test results in context. So numbers are becoming graphs, uh, which, for example, gives possibility to compare different, pro different products in graphical way. Another use case is live monitoring of performance tests. Uh, so sometimes performance tests might be long, like 30 minutes, one hour, maybe four hours or maybe even a day. And getting a feedback while these tests are running is quite important thing. So again, we can use Grafana for that. And last but not least is test execution data visualization. Uh, so in journey to proper continuous integration, we want to understand how fast our tests are running compared with, e with each other and do some other interesting things. So putting test results in context. So this is how my journey started uh, in interest uh, of Grafana. So we wanted at Evolution Gaming to measure how fast our games are loading. Uh, I took some tools, created such a solution, and in the end, I've got some numbers. Uh, but numbers are numbers without context they don't make much sense. So I talked with some big data guys, and they proposed to put all this information into InfluxDB to visualize them in Grafana. And actually, results were quite good. We got some graphs where we can compare uh, different products. So uh, our product owners can see that how new features are affecting performance, or maybe we can see how a box are introduced. So this gay, so Grafana became like a platform for discussions about performance of our games. Uh, next big topic is performance testing. Uh, Apache GMeter uh, loading testing tool most probably is the most popular performance testing tool because it is really easy to use. Uh, it has graphical user interface where you can click and create a test. And in the end, so you got an XML file. And it's completely open source. And in latest release, uh, it has a native uh, support of data export uh, to native InfluxDB via native InfluxDB protocol. And I just took a dashboard from grafana.com slash dashboards, added a listener to existing test, and in just a few minutes, I've got already some uh, live uh, results of tests. So if you have a long performance test, then you can monitor them as they are running and make some conclusions even before all run is finished. And uh, if you want to, get, uh, to have more context, you can put some more information on top of that. For example, some key performance metrics like CPU load of a system under test on top of this graph, and it will give you much more information. Uh, next very popular performance tool is Gatling. Uh, for Gatling, uh, tests are a code in Scala. Uh, unfortunately, in free version, there is no support for export to in a time series database, but there is an enterprise version which is called Gatling Frontline, which allows us uh, to 
export data to InfluxDB. Uh, and third topic, uh, putting test results in context. Um, if you are using Jenkins, there is such plugin which called InfluxDB uh, Jenkins plugin, which supports uh, export of different data. For example, uh, basic uh, Jenkins build data information, so how long the test was running, failure uh, rate, uh, and et cetera. Also, it has additional information about JUnit tests and also about tests which are executed in robot framework. And additionally, it supports uh, some uh, static analysis tools like Obertura or, or SonarCube and also Java code coverage library, Jacoco. Uh, but uh, in real world, there are much more, uh, much more uh, test execution frameworks in different languages like PyTest or PHP Unit if someone is using PHP or Cucumber. And for that, uh, is, there is a very good open source tool which is called Allure. Uh, the second release was a half year ago. And recently they have added export to InfluxDB. So basically, you can collect information from all different test tests in one common way. And you don't need to rely on any continuous integration systems like uh, Jenkins. So it works the same way for all uh, these um, test execution frameworks on any CI server. Uh, and this gives uh, countless opportunities to um, display data. For example, in this case, I'm comparing uh, execution length of different products and uh, different tests. And we may conclude that if tests run 20 minutes and there are similar tests which are running three minutes, then maybe these 20 minutes tests are too long. Um, yeah, so that was my short talk about Grafana usage in quality assurance. So thank you very much. And share the knowledge about Grafana to everyone in your company, as it can be used in very different ways, not only for monitoring of production. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on LinkedIn or in Twitter using my Twitter handle, tester from Riga. And I will put this presentation online at uh, speaker deck, and link will be in my Twitter account. So thank you very much. Yeah, we have some time for questions. Uh, if anybody has one, oh. we have one here. Are you using the data out of JMeter also in production, or is it only in the case you test and then it's disabled? Or uh, are you keep looking at uh, output from JMeter? Uh, so for JMeter, uh, I have found that only one team in our company is using, but it's only for testing purposes. So on production, uh, again, there is uh, just a monitoring, as uh, as many other speakers have told already. So. It is a little bit different uh, thing, but uh, yeah, for Gmeter we can watch uh, how our system under test is behaving while tests are running, which is quite a good feature. Mm -hmm.